My name is Nayeli Gobel. I am 13 years old. I attend seventh grade at St. Vincent School. I live in District 1 where Mr. Gil Cedillo represents us. I am here today to let you know that I live just in front of the Pony World called on April. This location, this location is surrounded by nine schools, including mine, and one of them is for young adults with special needs and a residential area. The toxic emissions from the plant makes us sick. Friend, my friends and I have suffered from nosebleeds, headaches, stomach pain, asthma, and other health symptoms. Fortunately, it is temporary. It is closed temporarily, but we need to ensure the, the closed operations permanently. Therefore, I am here to demand that you support the Los Angeles Parking Monitoring. It is your responsibility to fight and defend the communities that are to you into your office. Thank you. My name is Kwasi Nkrum, I'm the co-chair of the Martin Luther King Coalition of the Greater Los Angeles. Um, fracking is already a known issue. It's known to be a, an ecological disaster. It's known to be a health catastrophe. And it's also an economic bulldozer against the communities where it takes place. And on, on all those bases, it frankly should not be allowed to take place in any community in the United States, in our opinion. Uh, it is both an environmental issue and a social justice issue, particularly given the high concentration of communities of color, poor and working class communities where these operations take place. So it, it is in fact an environmental justice issue. Um, we're going to be out this Saturday with the Southern California um, uh, Climate Action Coalition. Uh, on the Great Climate March, we want to commend Mr. Koretz for stepping up as a public official. We want to urge all of you not to allow this criminal assault in our communities to take place on your watch. And we want to urge those at home who may be listening or hearing about this, this hearing, frankly, to take action in self-defense to recall any public official at any level that will allow this kind of criminal assault on their communities to take place. Dear committee members and chair, Mr. Bizar, on behalf of the Natural Resources Defense Council, I'm here in support of this motion. Um, to talk about premature, I think that uh, we should talk about the early deaths from toxic exposure that fossil fuels submit us to, and I think despite the risk, uh, fracking enjoys dangerous exemptions from critical environmental laws, including the Safe Drinking Act, the Clean Water Act, and the National Environmental Policy Act. NEMA. This motion will help protect Angelinas from the impacts of hydraulic fracking and other well stimulation activities. I urge you to vote in favor for this motion. Good afternoon. My name is Monique Uriar and I live on 81 West 22 Street, District 1, with Mr. Seguillo. I'm a member of Pico Naples. Pico Naples! This is a grassroots group supported by Esperanza Community Housing Corporation. We are the lucky ones to have as a neighbor an oil well. And we get free the emissions, the toxic emissions for them. And I want, I'm here to let you know that our head is not on sale. We urge you to support the Los Angeles moratorium, fracking moratorium. We don't need these emissions in our community. It's People's Naples so was working on the census track 2244 in a couple of days. We are able to get 477 signatures to close permanently the facility. 
and we can do that for the same candidate for District 1 to respond to our necessities and respect the health and human rights for the Thank you. Thank you. Rick Tilson, I just read an article. Rick Tilson is the CEO of Exxon Mobil. He lives in Texas, has a $5 million property. He is the head of the fracturing department in for Exxon Mobil, he promotes it all over the country. He has now become part of a community group that is trying to prevent fracturing in his neighborhood because it's not a